In this video, we're going to look at how we can find uh, the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular from a point in a line and really explain what that means and the process that we must go through in order to solve the problem. So, first of all, just to explain exactly what we mean by the foot of the perpendicular, let's say that this is my line L1 and this is the point A. Okay? 9, 4, minus 8, as it is in this question. Okay? Then the foot of the perpendicular is the coordinates of the point on the line that is of shortest distance. Uh, so the shortest distance from A to the line will be a point, say, here. Let's call this point P, such that that line will make a right angle. Okay, So that is the shortest distance from A to P, Okay which will make that right angle, and the coordinates of P are, is the foot of the, per well, P is the foot of the perpendicular in this case. So, how do we find these coordinates? Well, once we've designed that P should be the letter that we're looking for here, according to the point we're looking for, we can say that P, because it is a point on the line L1, we don't know the specific coordinates, otherwise this would be easy, we can just reel off those points, uh, the, that coordinate. Because we know it lies on L1, we can give it coordinates 4 plus 4 lambda, 3 plus 2 lambda, and 1 plus 6 lambda. Now the reason why we can do this is because there will be a lambda, a value of lambda, such that uh, P is this point that we are looking for. So, in effect, what we're doing is we're trying to find the lambda that will work for this problem, okay? That will give us the point P. So, any coordinate along the line L1 will be governed by these coordinates. It just has different lambdas, okay? So, this, this point might have lambdas 1. That's lambda 2, that's lambda 3, that's lambda 4. And we're just trying to find the value of lambda that gives us that specific point. So what we have here, um, and what will likely be what we need to do, is we need to find that vector, that vector AP. So in finding AP, remember, this is the vector OP minus OA. So we have OP is the position vector of these coordinates. So that's 4 plus 4 lambda, 3 plus 2 lambda, and 1 plus 6 lambda. Okay, so that's the position vector of OP, or for point in the coordinates of P. Now the position vector for the coordinates of A is 9, 4, minus 8. Okay? So I'm going to do a subtraction of these two vectors. So I've got 4 plus 4 lambda take away 9 is 4 lambda minus 5. I've got 3 plus 2 lambda take away 4 is 2 lambda uh, take away 1. And 1 plus 6 lambda take away minus 8, which is 6 lambda plus 9. Okay, so this is the vector AP. So effectively what we found is a vector that will get me from A to any point on the line L1. Okay, But remember, I'm trying to find a specific lambda that will nail me that vector in particular. Now there is this special property between that vector and that line. And the property is that they meet at right angles. Now in a previous video you should have seen that the scalar product can be used to show that two lines are perpendicular, that they meet at right angles. So what we need is the vector AP such that when I uh, use the scalar product and dot it 
with the direction vector of L1. Remember, we use the direction vector, not the position vector, okay? We want to know that the direction of the vector, so that's 4, 2, 6. When I dot it with that vector, I need to get 0. And it is this condition that will allow me to work out the value of lambda. So I have 4 lambda take away 5 times 4. So that's 16 lambda take away 20. I've got 2 times 2 lambda minus 1, so that's 4 lambda minus 2. And I've got 6 lots of 6 lambda plus 9, so 6 lots of 6 lambda is 36 lambda. And 6 lots of 9 is 54. So I need to tidy this up. Um, I've got 36 lambda, 40 lambda, 56 lambda. Take away 20, minus 20, take away 2 is minus 22. Add 54 is 32, so that's minus 32 on the right hand side. So lambda is equal to minus 32 over 56. Um, Making sure everything's all right here. Okay. Uh, which is minus four sevenths. So that is the specific value of lambda such that um, A to P is the shortest distance from the line from the point to the line. So if I substitute minus four sevenths into my coordinates for P then I get 4 plus 4 lots of minus 4 sevenths, uh, 3 plus 2 lots of minus 4 sevenths, and 1 plus 6 lots of minus 4 sevenths. So P has the coordinates um, 4. Uh, take away 4 times 4 divided by 7, so that's 12 sevenths. 3 plus 2 times minus 4 sevenths is 13 sevenths. And 1 plus 6 times minus 4 over 7 is minus 17 over 7. Uh, Hopefully. It's looking good. Um, minus 16 over 7. Okay, so these are the coordinates of P in this case. Um, substituting me into that formula there. Okay, that, that coordinate, those coordinates there. Okay, so that is how we find the foot of the perpendicular. And in the next video, I'll show you the extra bit that will allow you to find the shortest distance between a point and a line.